Hey guys, Ryan Jeske, I'm back. So I'm at the hotel here in uh, Joplin, Missouri. It is the third morning. Um, look at me, I look terrible. I only got two and a half hours of sleep. Um, I do, I struggle with insomnia terrible, especially when I get stressed out, especially when I have anxiety and things like that. So that's a rough one. Um, being set to a schedule is, is tough for me, especially if it's not my normal schedule, which is not very convenient for mo uh, most people, you know? So. It's hard for me to travel and do those types of things, but whatever. I'm in Joplin. Uh, Mr. Will Patriot lives real close by, just a few miles away, and I cannot wait to meet the guy. He is one of the nicest guys I've ever met. Check out his channel if you haven't. I'll put a link right here for you. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't have a whole lot. Today isn't going to be a big Virginia rally day kind of thing. It's going to be more or less hanging out with Will, meeting up, um, probably talking some strategy about it and stuff like that. But I think I'm going to head over there and do a live stream now. So I don't have anything else right now for you guys. I'll just bring you along for the day, all right? So ignore my bags. Here, I'm going to get vulnerable ready, Sam. I don't know what makes it look worse, but I look like hell, folks. Let's go. guys so I'm gonna let this thing warm up I uh, I stayed at the best Western I was hoping to camp um, but it was a lot of rain it was a lot of actually a lot of snow too so I didn't get to camp but uh, I stayed at best Western last night that was actually a really nice spot and the lady inside was awesome I'm gonna see if I can do a review for her um, just a very very good hotel so Anyway, we are on our way to go see Mr. Will Patriot. So next up, we should be pulling up at his house. And I don't know what's going to happen from there, folks. So, all right, I'm going to go check, uh, get us checked out. All right, breakfast, burritos. Alright guys, let's roll. Let's go see Mr. Will. So we are in Missouri. And this is some uh, uppity and downity roads here. Eat these meatheads. So guys, we made it. We are, let's see, uh, 1,312 miles into the trip and we are at Mr. Will's house. What's up, brother? <laughs> oh man, how you doing? How's it going, man? 
man. Good. How you been, man? Thank you, man. Oh, After all this time. Better late than this, James. How you doing? No, my brain is like, I've been checking manufacturing. I've been selling. Well, that was exactly what just happened there for a second. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. That's I've never seen anything like that. I have either. Cool. Yeah, that's a... I, that actually might qualify as an assault knife. <laughs> at that point, that's got enough features. <laughs> yeah, Virginia would probably definitely call it an assault knife. Yeah, they just shoot you if they see you carrying that thing around. I didn't want to show you until you got here. Yeah, that was one of the things. There's 17 trucks with six on each truck on the ground now. They will stop at 50 BMG round. They're uh, set up for electrifying and for LRAD and chemical warfare. So what I'm what I'm seeing here it almost looks like a freaking armored bobcat. With a, exactly. With a and those will extend out to uh, like 36 feet. They'll extend out where they can get crowds and just push them right up and corral you into a corner. Yeah. And then they put that. Water got it, and you're freaking done, right? You're done. Damn. That's confirmed. Those are on the ground. Yeah, yeah. there's the tension right now, Richard. Right, guys I'm just heading out from uh, my buddy Will Patriot's house I wanted to say uh, thank you to uh, Will Patriot and also Ninja Scout and Mississippi Patriot for showing me so much support uh, these guys basically have a plan to come extract um, extract me out of Virginia or from near nearby Virginia if something really were to go wrong so that is a huge huge piece both of those guys have um, some pretty pertinent background that uh qualifies them to be doing something like that and uh and i just appreciate it i i gotta be honest um i haven't i haven't felt this much support appreciation love uh in, in a long time especially around something like this so to um to mississippi patriot to will patriot to ninja scout to harry allen to all you guys to jen all of you guys um i just i really really appreciate you i appreciate the hospitality um we are let's see here we are exactly 1314 miles into this trip i have another thousand plus to go and i only have 24 hours to do it i only slept a couple of hours last night so I'm pushing it. I need to get a few hours knocked out here, get some sleep, and finish the ride. And, and that's basically the idea for today. What I was able to, to basically find out about today was that um, Virginia is basically going to be exactly what we're afraid that it's going to be. And that is basically a false flag, man. It's going to be a fake... Uh, it's a... Man, it's a false flag. They're gonna, they're, they're gunning for us, and pun intended. There, you know, they, they basically have, have illegally outlawed firearms. They have restricted our Second Amendment rights. They are telling us we can't wear body armor on the premises. We can't do anything, and all of this is being done against, um, against our Constitution. You know, I don't, I don't understand. The end game, I really don't get it aside from just complete chaos and, and potentially some kind of civil unrest so that these elites and globalists can can do their thing and make all the money they want to make. And that's just basically it's just basically all it is. And I guess at the bottom line is it doesn't really matter, does it? It doesn't matter what they're up to. The bottom line is they're up to something and it's not good. It's not in our favor, that's for damn sure. And uh Oh man, I don't know. I was just watching Guns and Gadgets and he was talking about um, just basically the fact that this is like a fish pole. They are, uh, I believe it's VCDL is asking for some support. They're wanting some people, um, they're wanting to have, I believe, 10,000 people go into um, the 
the into the fenced area basically and and be unarmed and they are re requesting that people have family members and friends come with them armed to take them to the gates and uh, and then we need to have 50,000 plus people outside of the gates we need to have 10,000 inside the gates and all of this stuff and and to be honest with you everything I'm hearing here is not good it's not safe it's not really okay and uh, I'm not afraid, I'm not going to back down from this, but I'm also not stupid. I'm not going to go in there thinking, you know, we're going to go in armed to the teeth and be rambles or anything like that. That is the furthest thing from what I have planned, intended, or anything. Um, what I'm really, really, really concerned about is, uh, is that they are going to use facial recognition and things like that to identify people like me who are there doing nothing wrong, nothing illegal, and who are just trying to exercise our Second Amendment rights and stand up for our rights in general. And they're going to use that to attack us in some way, whether that is labeling us domestic tease or... Um, something along those lines I don't know I don't know exactly what that's gonna be but all I know I'm not backing down I'm sick of this I've had it I'm sick of spending my days and nights with my stomach in knots because of the, the state that this country is in because of the people because of the, um, the government because of all of this the tyrannical overreach the nonsense the lies the censorship all of it I'm tired of it and I think a lot of other Americans are tired of it too and you know, January 20th, it's not necessarily just the day that's going to fix anything or the day that's going to ruin everything, I don't believe. Um, but it is becoming representative of um, those of us out here who are sick of it. Sick of it. So guys, I don't know. I have, in the next 24 hours, I have a thousand miles to drive and I need to get a good night's sleep. Um so that I'm ready for the 20th, so I'm ready for Monday. Uh, I'm going to go meet up with uh, Disabled American Vets Perspective um, tomorrow afternoon and, uh, you know, hook up with those guys. I'm also going to be meeting up with Virginia Prepper, of course, and he and I have a number of plans in place to go downtown and, and to do this in a way that will hopefully be safe and allow us to document, video, record, stuff like that, so... I don't know, folks. Everybody needs to keep their heads on a swivel, stay vigilant. But like I always say, more than anything, you guys stay safe and keep prepping. See you in Virginia. Man, I made it, man. I made it. This was a total of, let me see here, 2,479 miles. I am here. I need to go to the bathroom. I need to get in, but I just wanted to let you guys know I made it safe. Whew. All right, time to go meet Virginia Prepper.